In this video, I'll show you seven DaVinci Resolve 19 features you probably didn't know existed. Whether you're a seasoned editor or just getting started, these tips are definitely gonna spice up your editing game. You know that feeling when your video files are scattered all over the place and you can't remember where you placed that crucial video clip? This tool lets you organize and archive your media files so you can keep everything in one place exactly where it should be. Whether you need to move files around, consolidate them, or even convert file formats for smoother editing, Media management helps you to do all that. When you go up to file under media management, there you have the options to copy or transcode your media. You can copy the entire project. You can copy or transcode timelines only and you can select specific timelines you want to copy or you can do that with clips as well individual clips so say you want to export your entire project davinci resolve will take everything inside of your project and copy it into one file if you ever opened up a timeline that looks like a tangled mess of spaghetti you know tons of unused tracks and clips everywhere making it hard to navigate the timeline and focus this tool lets you neatly organize your timeline by removing any empty or unused video tracks when you go to timeline under clean up video tracks you have the options to flatten unused clips disable unused clips or change unused clips color so when you flatten unused clips davinci resolve will remove any unwanted clips and put everything neatly into one or two or three tracks when you choose the option to disable unused clips the range resolve will only disable clips underneath that is not used in the project or if you go to change unused clips color you can choose a specific color and then you can see where the clips are in your timeline that's not used so you have the option to either delete them or have the option to use them in your timeline if you've ever played your footage at a faster speed and found yourself constantly adjusting the speed settings to make sure you don't miss any details that's where fast review comes in it adjusts the speed for you so you don't have to keep fiddling with the settings it makes reviewing footage faster and more efficient while still allowing you to catch those important details i have a timeline here that has different lengths of clips some clips are short some clips are longer when i activate the fast review under playback when i go to playback fast review it will place the longer clips fast and shorter clips will slow down a little bit and some clips will even play at normal speed if you've ever been deep in a timeline color grading specific shots but found it a nightmare to find the clips from the same source that's where flags come in it's super simple all you need to do is select your clip go on to mark under add flag you can select a color i'm going to choose red and all the clips that are from the same source will now be flagged now when you go back to the color page and you want to only see the clips that you flag without all the in-between clips you can go to clips drop down and then select flag clips select the color i made it red so now all the flagged clips will now show next to each other for easy color grading by the way if you want to make editing even easier and get personalized help with your davinci resolve projects i also offer consultation calls to guide you step by step check the link in the description when you're working with a super long clip it's easy to get overwhelmed trying to find the right segment it can feel like you're digging through a pile of footage just to try and get what you need making your workflow sluggish and frustrating and on top of that you're constantly setting and resetting your in and out points essentially starting over every time you need to grab a new part of the clip that's where sub clips come in in your media pool double click the clip that you want to make multiple clips from i want this long drone shot i'll double click on it so it will play in my viewer let's say it's not in my timeline before i drag it into the timeline i wanted to select in and out points of this clip right i'm gonna set my in point by pressing i on the keyboard and then i'll just move along let's say i want this part i'll press o on my keyboard there's two ways to create a sub clip the first way is you can press alt and b on your keyboard and this new sub clip menu thingy will open you can use you can select use full clip extends if you want to or you can just say create and instantly it created a sub clip let's say i want this part of the video in and out the second way you can you can create sub clips is just by clicking and dragging it from the viewer into your media pool and the same menu will pop up 
just select create and now we've got two subclips created from that and these subclips are the exact in and out points that we selected from the main clip and this is very handy when you want to quickly edit and you want a specific part of a long clip without having to scroll through it and select multiple in and out points the subclips will save you so much time sometimes you just want to see what your clip looks like without all the edits and this button lets you do just that instantly you probably already know that you can quickly bypass color grades and fusion effects by clicking on this button at the top right of the viewer but here's a little secret if you right click on it you can select only to bypass color grades or you can bypass the fusion grades this is handy for instance if you've got this picture in picture effect that's a fusion effect if i have both on i won't be able to see my video because it bypasses the fusion effects as well this is super handy and a fast way to compare your progress without interrupting your editing flow before you export your masterpiece you can check your final project using lightbox it gives you a thumbnail based view of your entire timeline making it easy to spot inconsistencies and catch mistakes before before hitting export. Just click on Lightbox in the color page and you can browse through your timeline with ease. Check color consistency across your timeline, find ungraded clips instantly, spot visual mistakes like a shot that's too dark or a LUT that doesn't fit. Think of it as a quality control checkpoint, giving you a bird's eye view of your entire project so you can perfect everything before exporting. So these are seven features that you might not have known existed in DaVinci Resolve 19. If you need royalty free music for your projects, get 70% off your your first year of audio pro using this code check out the link in the description thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one